Whoa, it's been a minute. So I am in New York on a family vacation. Of course, had to bring a paramotor because it's just what you do. And we literally just got here to New York after a six hour, well, it's more like eight, including traffic and stops. But quite a long drive. And what a better way to end it off. And with that, severely overloaded on fuel paramotor flight. I have about two, two and a half hours worth of fuel. I'm only expecting like maybe an hour flight or so. Depends on how conditions are because we've got some possible rain to watch out for um, and Wendy's saying the winds aloft are kind of blowing but Wendy's been wrong before so I'm going to push my luck. We'll see. I have a feeling it should be pretty good. And I'm on Dan's Spider uh, 26 meter. So it's huge and very forgiving. So even if I do find myself in some otherwise sketchy spots, I have a good piece of fabric above my head. Come on, buddy. I swear I just did my plug. There we go. Fuel mixture seems good. One thing that Dan always knocks me for is uh, he thinks that I spend too much time tuning my engine, but listen to how well that thing's idling, and the throttle is perfectly between lean and rich. It's exactly what I want. I literally just pulled up to some random elementary school <laughs> that I found on the map. It's like eight minutes from where we're staying. There's at least 500 feet between me and that yard. So even if I do lose my engine for some reason on climb out, I have enough room to turn around and just do a little bit of a downwind landing. Winds down here are consistently out of the south at maybe two mile an hour gusts, maybe three, but very steady, smooth. Uh, yeah, should be pretty good. to hit the uh, windsock or the pitcher stand. some much better control um, and uh, speedy speedy turns and stuff. Looks like I need to let a little bit of it out because it does appear to be somewhat uh, tight at the moment, but it feels really nice using it. It's, it's really dialed. Uh, so much better than my old thing. <laughs> oh yeah, it's crisp. You can just pluck that and it'll just stop on a dime. So nice. Look at all these fields. I really wish New Hampshire was like this. Look at these corn fields, dude. It's so nice. What a good wing, too. Like, this thing's a little old, and you can't do, like, super spicy stuff on it exactly. But, like, I did a sat on this thing. And it handled it great. I kind of messed it up because my finger got stuck. Holding, holding a wrap of brakes, but okay, let's see if I can pick a line. I'm gonna stay right over a line. Of Drop down a little bit. Yes. Very nice. Oh yeah. <laughs> I have to relearn this wing's control and try not to overcorrect for anything. But this is a really nice speed too. Like it's not too fast. It's not too slow. It's nice and pillowy. Like, but at the same time, it's on rails. I give this thing an 8 out of 10 for my dog sport. Alright, let's climb out here. Oh, dear!
go fly over our uh, our house that we have rented if I can find it. I think it's over this way. I'm gonna try to shake out some of the sand. <laughs> you can see the sand in the, the edge of the wing. Try to shake it out a little bit once I uh, once I swing by here. Oh, I think this is it right here. Yep. Hey, I found it. I found it. I found it. It's right there. Wow. <laughs> Dude, I love my aunt. She always, she's so cool. All right, let's get some, get some nice little wing overs going here. Woo! Oh yeah, dude. She, she gets dynamic for sure. Yeah. It's so gorgeous out here. shenanigans maybe it's because I don't like showing off but that's false I do like showing off <laughs> it is fun flying with the GoPro because it feels like you have a friend to talk to at first it's kind of awkward because you're, you are talking to nobody but it's nobody at the time but then like you post it and then maybe it'll be a couple people who knows or maybe this video will blow up probably not oh this stuff feels weird it's like straw but it's like perfectly cut so it's nice and like Oh, that's sick. Just float right over it. Not a care in the world. Nice and smooth air. We're going 25 miles an hour. Gang, gang. Alright, there's a highway right here. Yo, I should fly over the cars. No cars behind me. What the heck, dude? Uh, I bet that looks scary as hell. <laughs> into this thing right here. Phew. Oh yeah. I'll go too far. Oh, it's more of this grass. I think it's straw. I don't know my, my farming terminology. You can tell I'm not a country boy myself. But I can clean off my feet right now. That's what I'm doing. I don't know if I can get that on camera or not. Oh, I'm literally cleaning my feet. <laughs>
cool a little bit. It is just over yonder, right out there. So that's good. <laughs> you said made it, made it over here. I'll check back in when I'm at a couple thousand. We're at 26. Ground is 800, so we're about 2,000 feet right now. I'll check in at like three or four, maybe. All right. Well, that was. Well, that was really weird. Pretty sure I just got hit by a hailstone in my nose. There was like a solid, small object. I want to see if I can find it. I think it bounced into my lap. Weird. Wow. I just got hit by something way up here. That was really weird. It was probably the size of like a pea maybe, like a pea-sized something. Pretty sure it was a hailstone because I don't know what else it would be. It was just this little solid object. All right, there's a nice cell tower for me to zoom around too. That's that's pretty fun to do as well. Let's get some wingovers going here. Keep the engine running. Weight shift, brake, outside, hands up. 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 Weight shift, brake. Outside, yeah, you can see my shadow on the wing. We should break outside, hands up. We should break outside, <laughs> yeah. That's how you know you're getting up good when you see your shadow. Yeah. Oh, we almost just got into a dynamic right there. Dynamic spiral. Oh, whoa, I just lost my engine. Okay. Whoa, that was close. For some reason, when you pull a good amount of Gs, you lose the engine. I think it has to do with the fuel line. I think it, I think it, uh, the fuel has a tr has trouble getting sucked up and it actually pulls the fuel down. Yeah, well, okay. I had this field right in front of me. This was my first choice for a landing. If, uh, <laughs> luckily, I'm surrounded by options. So if I did lose my engine, I'm I'm pretty much fine. I have so many options, but we're going a whopping 10 miles an hour. Nothing new. So when I do a circle around the cell tower, I have to make it more of an oval because if I just do a circle, I'm gonna end up going right into it. And wow, it looks like all the sand is gone too. Wow, hell yeah, those things work. Right into my wake. There we go. A little bit lower. Pretty good. Woo. It's definitely getting more turbulent. Yeah. It's really not the best air right now. Oh, yeah. So there's a little puddle right up there that I would definitely like to touch my foot in. But, it do be a little bumpy. And there are trees directly in front of the, they're creating a wind shadow where the wind is coming from out here and it's just making a turbulent puddle of crappy air behind it. And there's a bunch of cows, so never mind. Don't want to spook the cows, it's kind of mean. I know some people who would enjoy that, <laughs> but they shall not be named. So I figured it's time that I get some really good uh, touch and go practice in. Well, like, I don't know. I do have practice with it, but it never hurts to get more. Um, my spot landings are so-so. Could definitely um, benefit from some work. So what I've decided is I'm gonna shoot approaches at the field I took off from and I'll, I'll probably do like two or three before I climb out to see the sunset. Oh, look at that, it's already gorgeous, it's incredible. Um, but I'm gonna try to land on the pitcher's stand 
or as close as I can reasonably. And note to self, I need to increase my idle speed by like a quarter turn just because I'd rather have it idling high than die on me when I get into a spiral. So yeah, we'll go three quarter trim in for this, give or take. Get the ground speed a little bit lower. Okay, engine's still doing all right. Okay, so from here on out, no throttle permitted. No other traffic. No impending weather. So I'm gonna shoot my approach kind of over those little trees in the middle of the field. So I just need to feel out where the wind's coming from. It should still be coming. I also do have a windsock. <laughs> I might just come straight down on this actually because of this headwind, I'm going 10 miles an hour still. My glide slope is 4.0. I am gonna blip my throttle occasionally just to keep the engine going. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut it now, take it nice and wide, or sharp actually, and then bring it down here. Because now my glide slope's gonna change with that wind. Wind sock's going a little crazy. Okay, this looks good. I might overshoot it a little bit, so I'm gonna bleed a little bit of altitude off. Come on, right on the pitcher's mount. Let's go, let's go, come on. Come on, feet out. I'm gonna overshoot it. No? Ah! So my engine is off intentionally. Uh, I'm at about 2,500 feet above ground level. Shut off my Vario. Stow my earplugs and just, <laughs> you can hear the rippling of the little, uh, those little guys, that's funny. But yeah, it is completely clear of sand. There's zero sand in the wing anymore. Those things really do work. Get a couple pictures for my mom. <laughs> oh yeah, nice wide angle. Oh, look at that. I'm gonna get blind spots from staring at the sun. You can see the shadow of the earth on the horizon. That's so cool. Oh, what a beautiful world. All right, I'll do a couple little wing overs and uh, then I'll just enjoy the ride down. Yeah. Woo. Oh yeah. Get a big one here. Oh yeah, they're nice. Nice recovery, nice and smooth. How to stall your wing in turbulent air, 101. All right, I'm gonna do a hard left turn here. Get that wing nice and low. Look at the sun. I can look at it. It's dim enough that I can I can look at it right now. It's pretty much gonna set as I land. It's still there. It's still there. And wait for it. Oh, there it goes. Okay, let's nail this landing right on the pitcher's mound. I'd much rather overshoot than undershoot this though, because there is a fence right there, so. I don't really want to go into the fence. That would be offensive. Yeah, we're gonna overshoot it, but that's okay. I'll just land by the, the side over here. It's hard to do a spot landing in the turbulence. And bury them. Look at that, Peter Pan bit, dude. Oh yeah. Oh, wow. There's a fair amount of wind down here. Go ahead and kill it. 